we're going to look at updating help and in fact getting help to start with because you might know that notice that PowerShell does not ship or help with does not ship with PowerShell I want to show you something here let's go over to a PowerShell window and I'm just going to type get help and let's scroll up to the top of the output and one of the things you'll see right here in this long description is Windows PowerShell does not include help files so it tells us a couple of things that we can do about that. It says you can read the help topics online or you can use the update help commandlet. Now we'll get used to this word commandlet and talk about it more later on. The update help commandlet. So uh, we did this in one of the labs last week. And um, let's just do this update help and you'll see what happens is that the help files uh, begin to load here in just a moment now at the end it's not uncommon to have an error message uh, the error messages have to do with some of the uh, modules that I have on my system may not have help files at Microsoft uh, for those modules uh, third-party independent uh, people can write PowerShell modules well, Microsoft wouldn't have the help files on those. Uh, and a question comes to mind, why would they do this? Why would they not provide the help files uh, to begin with? And the answer to that is that PowerShell is a living thing. Here's my, uh, there's my uh, error messages, by the way. Failed to update for these modules. And the reason is that these modules didn't have help files uh, at Microsoft. So it, it updated everything else. Now back to my question here, um, why do they do it this way? Uh, because PowerShell is constantly changing uh, and uh, they, they add things to PowerShell and you add new modules and you change modules, uh, it's important that those help files be constantly updated. So I recommend about once every uh, month or once every six months maybe, uh, I think once a month is a good uh, a good rule of thumb that I like to go by uh, in order to update the uh, help files. So you should regularly run help uh, the update help. Uh, by the way, you could put this into a script, but we're not really going to get into scripting that much uh, in this class until uh, we'll do a little bit at the very end. Uh, but uh, you could make that into a script so you don't have to remember to do it all the time. Uh, or you could actually set it up through your task manager in Windows if you wanted to. Uh, but other than that, uh, you could do it manually about once a month or so. I just said here you should update help often. Um, I'm going to put at least once a month, and that will be my recommendation for quiz purposes. All right, so let's uh, go on then later on and learn... Uh, in the next video, we'll learn how to update help on a server that may not be connected to the Internet.